morning, William. Good morning, Miss Seaton. Is Father home? He and Mr. Ned walked to church. We're waiting for Miss Linda. Oh, come in a minute, will you, darling? Sure. Uh, wave in her, please. Uh, bring my bags in, William. Good morning, Miss Julia. <laughs> it's good to see you back again, Miss Julia. Thanks, James. Oh, will you ask Miss Minnie to step into the third floor sitting room, please? Uh, yes, Miss. Go on, all aboard. Now where am I? <laughs> I've just told you where I live. <laughs> I didn't know people lived in railway stations. <laughs> oh, you people! <laughs> A very bad echo. Then if you stop criticizing this place or I'll call the bouncer. The bouncer? The bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have we here? must all be so rich. You should have told me. Why? Would it have made any difference? Well, I should say so. <laughs> Why did I should have married me in two days instead of ten? Aren't you funny, Johnny, to talk about it? Well, why? If I'd suddenly found out you could play the piano, I'd be delighted, wouldn't I? Is having money like knowing how to play the piano? Well, they're both very pleasant accomplishments in a girl. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you decide I'd do? I fell in love with you, silly. Same here. Mm -hmm. But you know awfully little about me. I am a man of the people. I started life with these two hands. So did the gentleman over the fireplace. Take heart from Grandfather Seaton. You wouldn't tell me you're those Seatons. Forgive us, Johnny, but we are. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's not let the fun go out of it. Why do we have to spill it so soon? Oh, but I have to tell Father. It would be different if Mother were alive. I could break it gently through her, I suppose. But as it is... Eventually, I, I know, but, but why the rush? But, Johnny, I thought you wanted to be married as soon as possible. I do. Well, that's another place Father comes in. You know, I just hate the thought of sitting down with a man and being practical about you. <laughs> but, darling, we can't just go wandering up snowy mountains and through pine woods the rest of our lives, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we can do better than that. Come here. Now, kiss me. Several times, please. Is that all right? All right, Angel. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, Julia, for shame, Julia. Is this any way to spend Sunday morning? <laughs> How are you, darling? Did you have a nice trip? Oh, best trip ever, dear. <laughs> Who's your partner? Anyone I know? <laughs> my, 
This is Mr. Case, my sister Linda. Well, how do you do? Well, thanks. And you? Couldn't be better. Johnny Case, his name is. I'm going to marry him. Step around here in the light, will you, Case? <laughs> <laughs> but I've never even seen you before. Neither had I until ten days ago at Placid. You're not a guy. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this younger generation. Well, young man, I hope you realize what you're getting in for. Mm, that's pleasant. Oh, I don't mean you, darling. You're <laughs> divine. I mean, um, father and cousin Seton Cram and Laura and the rest of the outlying Seatons. And the general atmosphere of overflowing wealth with Papa sitting on the lid. <laughs> Johnny will try to bear up, won't you, Johnny? I'll do my best. But how did you two get together? Come on, tell Linda everything. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. You see, I was walking along the road one morning, when who should I see but this young... Whom should I see but? When who should I see but this young man coming along carrying snowshoes? I spoke to him and said, I suppose you don't realize it, but your nose is frozen. And he said, no, I hadn't realized it. And I said, well, it is. And he said, I don't suppose there's anything you personally can do about it. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> and I picked up some snow and started rubbing his nose with it. Fancy <laughs> that, a downright pickup. A uh, romance. <laughs> Go on. So then you swept her off her snowshoes, huh? Yes. It was touch and go with us. I like this man. Does father know about it yet? No. Oh, he'll never forgive you if you don't tell him now. Oh, we're going to elope. No, we're not. Now, that's where you come in. When do you think I ought to break the news? I know. Know what? When to tell him. Come on. Oh. We're going to church. To church? church? What for? Oh, don't worry, not you. Oh. Come on. <laughs> but I have to change, dear. Oh, we have time. Well, Father, we'll have to step on it. Wait a minute. You better take the elevator or you'll get lost. <laughs> and don't forget to be here for luncheon. A case never forgets luncheon. <laughs> and remember, you haven't been here this morning. All right, I'll run along home. <laughs> See you later, Case. Right. So you'll have to hurry. Oh, I know. What are you after now? Are you sure Father will like Johnny? Well, he will if he has any sense. Are you certain church is the place to tell him? Oh, of course, he can't say anything in church. I suppose you have right. to cool off before he starts objecting. That's the main thing. I suppose you're right, dear. You always are. Well, I think I am about this. Come on now, just take Sister Linda's hand and let's, let's get started. Oh. any right to say things like that. He's the first one I've ever picked. Wait till you see him. I think you're both hysterical over this fellow. Oh, Ned, he's really divine. <clears throat> well, we don't need a saint in this now. <laughs> Johnny, you're early. Too soon? Oh, don't be oh, silly. No. Charles, would you read this room twice and Mr. Seaton comes in, please? Very well, Miss. This is my brother Ned, Mr. Keith. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? I expect father will be a job. When do they do battle? Before <laughs> luncheon, I suppose. Oh, see here, Keith. I'm afraid you're going to need a little coaching. Well, I'll be grateful for anything in this trouble. 
All right, let's assume that you're interviewing our stern parents. Sit down, young man. Oh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> now, uh, have you anything at all but your winning way to your credit? Uh, well, uh, really, Mr. Seaton, I have, uh... <laughs> not a thing. Oh, hasn't he, though? The first thing father will want to know is how were you fixed? Fixed? Fixed. Are you a man of means? And if so, how much? Linda. Be still, beauty. I know you'd hardly expect that of a man in father's position, but the fact of the matter is, money is our god here. Linda, I'll... Johnny, that isn't true at all. No? What is then? <clears throat> well, young man? I have in my pocket now exactly $34. And a package of cigarettes. Will I have one? Thanks. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, uh, gilt edge securities? No, uh, rolling woodland? Well, I have a few shares of common stock tucked away. Common? Don't even say the word. <laughs> no, Julia? I'm afraid it won't do. He's a comely boy, but just another in the vast army of cockwatchers. How are you, uh, socially? Nothing there, either. What? You mean to say your mother wasn't even a hooser? Not even that. You must know some prominent people. Drop a few names. For instance? Oh, just casually. When, um, when I was to Mrs. On the Donk bullfight last night, <laughs> who should I see but whom should I see but Mrs. Carrara Marble? <laughs> well, really, I thought she'd die laughing. <laughs> this is a lot of rot, you know. <laughs> I'm having a grand time. <laughs> She says to me, Johnny, she says, she calls me Johnny. <laughs> Linda, will you be quiet? What on earth has set you off this time? But it's dreadful, Julia. Just what do you think you're going to prove with Edward Seaton, financier and cotillion leader? Well, when I find myself in a position like this, I ask myself, what would General Motors do? Then I do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's keeping from <laughs> Don't hurry him. He said he had to stop to see Sam Hobson about yeah. something. You. I hope I get a good character. Anyone like a drink? Well, if it goes through all right, are you really going to make it quick? Yeah. Then the next month. Okay, sir. Cocktails aren't allowed at midday, so just before luncheon's announced, I'll ask you if you'd uh, care to brush up. Guess what I'll say. <laughs> it's father. Don't weaken. Johnny, you go on up to Ned's room. You haven't arrived yet. Well, listen, this is getting complicated. When do I arrive? One o'clock. It's, uh, uh, quarter to now. Go on, do as you're told. Yeah, but listen, you, Ned. Listen, you saucy... Go on, Case. Don't expect simplicity here. Just think of all our Fifth Avenue fronties. <laughs> <laughs> go on, now. Step on it, Ned. <laughs> You do like him, don't you? She asked me if I like him. My dear girl, do you realize that life walked into this house this morning? <laughs> oh, marry him quick before father starts the old cry, you're being married for your money. Well, that's always flattering, isn't it? Well, stand your ground, Julia. If you don't know your own mind by now, you haven't got a mind. Now, you name your date and stick to it, I'm telling you. I want father to see that Johnny has the self-same qualities that grandfather had. And there's no reason why he shouldn't arrive just where grandfather did. It'll be awful to leave you. I don't know just what I'll do when you go. I'll have to do something. Get out, quit on it, change somehow or I'll go mad. I could curl up and die right now. Why, darling. 